So I've touched grass, I've touched water, but now people are telling me to touch fire? I don't really get how that's supposed to help me, but I know you guys are just looking out for my health, so I guess I'll give it a try. By seeing how quickly I can touch fire in every Mario game, starting with the original Super Mario Bros on the NES. As you probably have guessed, World 1-1 doesn't have any fire. So we'll move right along to 1-2, and I'm gonna make a rule right now that fire flowers don't count as touching fire. I want something that can scorch my booty. So for that, we'll make our way through 1-2 and 1-3, all the way over to 1-4, where we can dive into this nice lava here. Onto the lost levels, where the furthest I've made it through this game was when I touched water in 1-2, so I'm basically an expert now. For example, I know not to get this mushroom because it will kill you. So with that out of the way, we'll just easily glide through 1-1, one, 1-2, one, 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 onto 1-4 where I can touch this fiery twirling breadstick. Super Mario Bros. 2 is pretty easy. All you need to do is make your way over to this door here, bomb these rocks, throw an egg at a dinosaur, steal this bird's magic carpet, make your way down this labyrinth holding a key while a creepy floating mask tries to murder you, chuck some bombs at this cool rat, then finally walk across this desert to reach the fire spitting plant. It's really that easy. Super Mario Bros. 3, I guess you could say, is also pretty easy. All we have to do is head into World 1-1 and jump into this fireball. On to Super Mario Land, where we'll make our way through Worlds 1-1 and 1-2, on to World 1-3, and I'm still not sure if this is lava here or some other kind of deadly goop situation, so we'll just take this lion fireball to the face and call it a day. Next up is Super Mario World, and no, I am not going to be counting projectile, vomit, fire touching, so don't even ask. But what we can do is head up to Yoshi's Island 3, where there's this pipe that leads us straight to a secret underground fire bath. For Super Mario Land 2, after completing the intro level, we're gonna head up to the cabin in the woods over here, become Ant-Man Mario, and hop into what I believe is some kind of fiery substance over here. But if this is some kind of like, I don't know, soup or something, please let me know. Moving on to Super Mario 64, and here's a little fun fact for you guys. I actually dabble in some Mario 64 speedruns. And if I remember correctly, I think I'm like top 10 in the world or something like that. So we'll just do a few professional speedrunning tricks to get eight stars quickly, which will give us access to the first Bowser level where there is plenty of fire to touch. Now onto Super Mario Sunshine, where I am most definitely not a speedrunner. In fact, I haven't really played through this game since I was a wee little lad, so I don't really remember much at all. For example, in my quest for fire, I spent an embarrassingly long time trying to shoot down Shadow Mario. I got lost searching for a cave in plain sight. I spent another embarrassingly long time trying to shoot down this stupid big baby piranha. But eventually after collecting 10 shines, we can blast ourselves over to Pinna Park, ride this nice roller coaster, and enjoy a heavy dose of fire. Next up is New Super Mario Bros, which is a little more straightforward. For this one, we gotta make it over to the castle in World 1 while remembering to utilize optimal movement and being extra careful not to die along the way until finally we can booty slam this fireball here. Super Mario Galaxy you would think would have plenty of fire based on this intro cutscene, but there's actually no fire to be found at all, so we'll just continue on for now. And no, I'm not going to be counting these big meatballs over here as touching fire. For the real stuff, we'll start by making our way through the first intro level, and then through Good Egg Galaxy three times until we can take a nice hot bath with uh, Octodad over here. On to New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and what you want to do for this one is make your way to World 1-3, then casually jump over this fireball that you were totally prepared for and expecting to be there, before doubling back to touch it. Super Mario Galaxy 2, man, this game is fun. The level design, the overall polish, it's just so good. 
Also, Yoshi's in this game. I love Yoshi. I even got this little keychain thingy of him. And then you got these fun new power-ups, like this big drill and this cloud maker suit. Wait. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something. Why am I just playing Super Mario Galaxy 2? Oh, right. Next, we've got a pretty quick one with Super Mario 3D Land. All we gotta do is make our way through World 1-1 and hop into World 1-2, which has this torch just waiting for us to touch. New Super Mario Bros. 2 is a little different than the first one because we only need to make it to the baby castle this time around. So after some more uh, precise platforming, we'll make it all the way up to these dinos here and touch some of their hot breath. For New Super Mario Bros. U, we need to make it past the baby castle this time and move on to World 1-5 where... Oh. Okay, uh, never mind. I'm actually gonna learn about Miiverse. If you fail repeatedly at the same spot, house appear on the... Anyways, in 1-5, we can touch fire right here. Super Mario 3D World is very similar to 3D Land, where all we have to do is make our way through World 1-1 onto 1-2, where there's a couple more torches ready for us to dive into. On to Super Mario Odyssey, where we'll make our way through the Cap Kingdom, take down Big Bertha over here in Cascade, and head to the Sand Kingdom, where we can eventually go into the Upside Down Pyramid to touch some fire. And finally, Bowser's Fury, where the goopy Bowser apocalypse is upon us. Which happens to be great for touching fire. And for the final results, here's how long it takes to touch fire in every Mario game from slowest to fastest. Still don't really know why you guys are telling me to do that, but regardless, thanks for watching.